Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to do today's video addressing Infinity Ward. Um, because I feel like there's something which needs to be said to Infinity Ward, and also the Cooney needs to kind of listen to it too. Uh, Emsley wrote recently that there has been some announcements that have come up this week, and they have some are official and some that are rumors. My ask of you all is to focus on information that is actually fact and not get thrown off by ill informed people that want to make a name for themselves by spreading half baked and flammy rumors. Let's work real problems together and not fairy tales of boogeymen. Now, this is referring to most likely leakers which have been leaking like supply drops and what's going to be in them, etc. Who we don't know if that's true or not, to be fair. Uh, even though this came from someone who has quite a decent reputation with leaks. Now, he doesn't get every leak right. Let's put that out there. He doesn't get every single one right. He gets a good majority of his right. Now, the big thing is, I want to talk to Infinity Ward. Um, yes, we see these rumours, but when it comes to someone who has a nice majority of things, we kind of, half the community just half believe them. Of course, if I just said, oh, this is happening in modern warfare, no one would believe me. Um, and it's not just like, oh, we want to find an excuse, which quite a lot of people put onto the COD community. Now, there's some situations where I would say that's a thing, where a load of people just try and find an excuse to hate something. But my thing here is that when it comes over the years, we've heard Call of Duty developers say that things are going to happen this way and it just doesn't happen. I think the biggest thing that's happened, really, the biggest game which is a big culprit of this is Black Ops 4. Now, if you look at Black Ops 4, I remember signature weapons, they're going to be earned. They're going to be challenges and rewards for things. Half of them, well, not even half of them, all of them, but I think three officially, went into the shop. That is not something which is a challenge which gives you a reward and things like that. You know, so essentially we got, I guess, lighter. Now, they did say some will be that way, so I guess they did fill the prophecy, but none would fill, oh, three out of 40. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Like... And they also said supply drops will be cosmetic only. Boom, just recently the AN went into supply drops, the VMP and the Echo Hawk went into supply drops. Again, another essentially lie we've been told. So when we go back even further, you know, we've had these promises which have just been broken essentially. I do not think this is a developer's fault. I've always said I don't believe it's Infinity War Trek or Sledgehammer Games' fault that some things are like something. Because ultimately, and no offence, they're the lowest paid people technically in the Call of Duty spectrum. Like, they will not make the most executive decisions. Of course, there's people above them, the publisher, Activision, which has to have a say. Activision also owns these studios, so they can pretty much say that'll, that something has to be like something. And they're the ones that have got the shareholders and all that to please. Now, if you think that a developer gets into gaming to get pretty much shit thrown at them, then what the hell? <laughs> Why would you become a game developer to get just shit thrown at you? Of course, the one to make people have enjoyable experiences, a good way of showing storytelling. You know, it's like a different way to show storytelling. It's like getting into the film industry, it's like getting into the TV industry. Games are also there nowadays, and if you like that or not, then that's up to you. If you throw abuse at IW devs, I think that's a pretty much big way just for me to ignore you. Now, yes, Infinity Ward will not get everything 100% right. You know, there's bugs which people get annoyed at and throw shit at IW devs for. I remember this blatantly for track when a glitch happened a bug and everyone just threw hate at them and I'm like not everything will be get caught by QA testers you know there's thousands even millions of people still play World War 2 to this day a month a World War 2 gets a million players per month on PS4 and of course they're going to find more bugs than probably about a few hundred playing in the studio 
But this is my personal message to Infinite Ward. I don't want you to get down from what the community says. I know you want to aim towards something, but even if it's the higher ups that put their noses in and changes it all and things like that, then I understand. Now, what I think personally needs to happen is the higher ups kind of need to see and get on the same level as technically the community. Because overall, I bet if you put any of those Activision people into our shoes, you know, we don't have as much money. You probably get paid more per month than I actually earn. Let's be fair. And get them, you know, seeing how ridiculous it is, essentially. Uh, anyways, guys, I just want to do a quick message to IW here. I've been newbie, and I'll see you all next time.